An ominous discovery at Yellowstone's supervolcano sends shockwaves through the world as scientists race against time to prevent a catastrophic eruption. The air was tense and heavy with anticipation as scientists at the Yellowstone National Park received an urgent message from their monitoring equipment. The alert was flashing in bright red letters and the words helium-4 gas sent shivers down their spines. It was a foreboding sign, one that they had feared for years. The infamous Yellowstone supervolcano, one of the most powerful geological forces on the planet, was showing signs of an imminent eruption. Panic set in as the scientists scrambled to gather their data and analyze the situation. They knew the risks of an eruption, the devastating ash clouds that could spread for miles, the pyroclastic flows that could destroy everything in their path, and the catastrophic impact it could have on the world's climate. They had to act fast to warn the public and prepare for the worst. As news of the impending disaster spread, chaos erupted in the park. Visitors and staff alike were frantically trying to evacuate, but the roads were already clogged with traffic. Fear and desperation filled the air as everyone wondered if they would make it out alive. The countdown had begun, and the clock was ticking. Would the scientists be able to predict the eruption in time? Could they find a way to contain the massive force of nature that threatened to destroy everything in its path? The fate of Yellowstone and the world rested in their hands, and they had to act fast. This was a moment of truth, one that could change the course of history forever. The discovery of helium-4 gas at Yellowstone's supervolcano has sent shockwaves through the world, and for good reason. Yellowstone's supervolcano is one of the most powerful geologic forces on the planet and has the potential to cause untold devastation if it were to erupt. Scientists have been monitoring Yellowstone's supervolcano for years, and they have long known that it is capable of erupting at any time. In fact, the supervolcano has erupted three times in the past, the most recent being around 640,000 years ago. The previous eruptions caused widespread devastation, with ash clouds spreading for miles and pyroclastic flows destroying everything in their path. So when the scientists at Yellowstone received an urgent alert about helium-4 gas, they knew it was a foreboding sign. The discovery of helium-4 gas near a supervolcano like the one at Yellowstone National Park is dangerous because it is a strong indication that an eruption may be imminent. Helium-4 is a gas that is released from the Earth's mantle during the process of volcanic activity. It is a rare isotope of helium that is only found in very small quantities in the Earth's atmosphere. The presence of helium-4 gas near a supervolcano like Yellowstone's indicates that magma is moving towards the Earth's surface. When magma reaches the surface, it can cause a volcanic eruption, which can be extremely destructive and deadly. The fact that helium-4 gas is being released from the supervolcano suggests that the magma is closer to the surface than it has been in the past. In addition to indicating an imminent eruption, the release of helium-4 gas near a supervolcano can also be dangerous because it can have a significant impact on the surrounding environment. The gas can be toxic to plants and animals, and it can also impact the air quality in the surrounding areas. In addition, the release of large amounts of gas can lead to changes in the Earth's atmosphere, which can have a global impact on the climate. The discovery of helium-4 gas has sent panic through the park and visitors and staff alike. This is because if the Yellowstone supervolcano were to erupt, it would have catastrophic and far-reaching effects. The eruption would be one of the largest and most destructive volcanic events in history, with the potential to impact the entire planet. The immediate impact of a Yellowstone eruption would be devastating for the surrounding area. The eruption would send a massive plume of ash and volcanic gases into the air, creating a thick cloud that would cover the sky for hundreds of miles. This cloud would block out the sun and cause temperatures to drop, leading to a global cooling effect. The ashfall would also be extremely destructive, covering everything in its path and causing buildings to collapse under its weight. The eruption would also trigger a series of earthquakes and volcanic explosions that would last for weeks or even months. These explosions would create enormous craters in the ground and release large amounts of lava, 
ash, and gas into the surrounding area. The explosive force of the eruption would be equivalent to thousands of nuclear bombs, and the sound would be heard for hundreds of miles around. The ash and gases released into the atmosphere would cause a global cooling effect, potentially leading to crop failures and famine. The ashfall would also contaminate water sources, making it difficult to access clean water. The economic impact would also be significant, with many industries, including agriculture, transportation, and tourism, being severely impacted. But the scientists at Yellowstone are not giving up hope. They are working around the clock to gather as much data as possible and analyze the situation. They know that the stakes are high, and they have to act fast to warn the public and prepare for the worst. One of the main concerns for the scientists is the potential impact that an eruption could have on the world's climate. The ash clouds produced by a supervolcano eruption could spread for thousands of miles and block out the sun's rays. This would cause a drop in global temperatures, which could have a devastating effect on agriculture and food supplies. Another concern is the impact that an eruption could have on the surrounding area. Pyroclastic flows, which are fast-moving clouds of hot ash and gas, can travel for miles and destroy everything in their path. This could result in the loss of homes, businesses, and even entire towns. To try and mitigate the impact of an eruption, the scientists at Yellowstone are exploring a number of different options. One possibility is to try and cool down the magma beneath the supervolcano. This could be done by drilling into the ground and pumping water into the magma chamber. The hope is that this would cool the magma down enough to prevent an eruption from occurring. Another option is to try and divert the flow of magma away from populated areas. This could be done by digging trenches or building walls to redirect the magma flow. While this would not prevent an eruption from occurring, it could help to limit the damage that it causes. Despite the potential risks, some experts believe that an eruption at Yellowstone could actually be a good thing in the long run. The ash produced by a supervolcano eruption is rich in nutrients, and it could help to fertilize the surrounding soil. This, in turn, could lead to the growth of new plant life and the return of wildlife to the area. Of course, this is small consolation to the millions of people who would be affected by an eruption. The scientists at Yellowstone know that they have a responsibility to try and prevent a catastrophic event from occurring, and they're working tirelessly to do so. In the end, only time will tell whether scientists at Yellowstone are successful in their efforts to prevent an eruption. But one thing is certain. The discovery of helium-4 gas at Yellowstone supervolcano is a stark reminder of the power of nature and the importance of preparedness and planning for potential natural disasters. Yellowstone National Park has been preparing for the possibility of an eruption for years. They have developed an emergency plan that outlines the steps that need to be taken in the event of an eruption. This includes evacuation routes, emergency shelters, and communication plans. The park also conducts regular drills to ensure that staff and visitors are prepared for an emergency situation. However, the potential impact of an eruption at Yellowstone goes far beyond the park's boundaries. It would have a global impact, affecting everything from the climate to the economy. This is why scientists from all over the world are closely monitoring the situation and working together to come up with solutions. One of the challenges that scientists face is the unpredictability of a supervolcano eruption. Unlike other natural disasters such as hurricanes or earthquakes, there are no warning signs that an eruption is about to occur. This means that scientists must rely on monitoring equipment and data analysis to try and predict when an eruption is likely to happen. Despite the challenges, scientists remain hopeful that they can find a way to prevent an eruption at Yellowstone. They're constantly developing new technologies and techniques to help them better understand the behavior of supervolcanoes and to predict when an eruption is likely to occur. The discovery of helium-4 gas at Yellowstone supervolcano is a sobering reminder of the power of nature and the importance of being prepared for potential natural disasters. It is a wake-up call to governments, organizations, and individuals around the world to take steps to mitigate the impact of natural disasters and to prepare for the worst. In the case of Yellowstone's supervolcano, the scientists are working tirelessly to gather as much data as possible and to analyze the situation. They know that time is of the essence, and they're doing everything in their power to prevent a catastrophic eruption from occurring. 
In the end, the discovery of helium-4 gas at Yellowstone supervolcano is a call to action for all of us. We must be prepared for potential natural disasters, and we must work together to find solutions that will protect our communities and our planet. Only then can we hope to mitigate the impact of these powerful forces of nature and to ensure a safer, more resilient future for all. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about the possible presence of helium-4 gas at Yellowstone Supervolcano? And what could it mean for everyone? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one. In the next one.